down in New Orleans. They call for 26 years. They were the only transformers in the world used to establish electric power in the world. They, every laboratory in the world used these as the primary standards. You could use these transformers to demonstrate uh, lightning like they used in the World's Fair. And this would make people realize where it started. It started with Nikola Tesla. And those are the actual units that were used. Look at that name. Which one is easier to, to see? Where's the house electric? Uh, single phase transformer. It talks about the voltage and the KVA and the whole business. But the important thing is, I bought these from the National Bureau of Standards. When they moved to Gaithersburg, they used a new form of measurement, which I can explain if you're interested. The Japanese decided that they were going to become the masters of measurement. And they used the Japanese system. And uh, this is a shame that America lost its eminence. Uh, Tell us the history of these actual transistors. When were they built? Uh, let's see. It should say on here. Serial number. It just lists all the patents. Uh, Tesla basically patented every aspect of our modern electric power system. Every aspect. And these are the patents. And uh, How did you get hold of them? I bought them. And what was your reason for buying them? To save them. From? From being destroyed in the junkyard. I mean, they were going to junk them. Or whoever thought that they needed a quarter of a million volt transformer. Not many people need these things. Well, first of all, I have been able to reproduce this magnifying transmitter. And it is a marvelous machine because it will provide the world with fuelless energy. It is true. It can be done. It has been done by many inventors. But they never had the whole system. They never had an ability to understand it. Tesla provided that. And by the way, the real information comes from uh, the museum. It turns out that when he realized he couldn't trust the U.S. Patent Office, he did not submit the patent, but he wrote it. And, it, and that patent explained what he was really doing. Well, he could supply the world with fuelless energy. There's no need to burn hydrocarbons. It's useless. It's much better to have, but the problem is that there's no economic advantage in not having to have oil. Yeah. Uh, this is just to protect the terminals. Uh, this is the intermediate transformer. This is 60,000 volts. And uh, I can see that their idea was to try to keep moisture out of the transformers. Why do you think people like Morgan hated Tesla so much? Because Tesla is going to supply the world with fuel and energy. How can, how can Morgan make, how can he make money if, if you can't put a meter on radio waves? You can't charge for the electricity. If, if you could ask Tesla some questions, for example, what would you like to ask him? I would like to ask him how he, why he didn't go mad with his abuse because he was tormented to such a degree you cannot imagine. His life's work was torn apart. Uh, the tower was dynamited. Uh, what would he think about you? If he could meet you, what would he think about you? Well, I think he'd be happy to meet someone that understood what he was talking about. I mean, he was so far ahead of his time. Uh, well, that's not true. He did talk to people that knew what he was doing. Some of the greatest people in, the, in, the, in his period. But none of them understood what it meant to fight the elimination of fuel. That was what they didn't connect. 
was that what Tesla was doing was eliminating the billions of dollars that were being spent for the, you see, at that time, Edison was going to put a generator every two miles on the face of the earth powered by coal, because coal was the thing at that time. It wasn't oil yet. It was before Ford and the use of oil. So imagine the money that was going to be made by digging up all that coal and all the soot that would control. You see, Tesla wrote a paper about the danger of using all of this coal burning. Oh, it goes on and on. It's just it's too much. Uh, do you know that they were going to they were going to stop his development at uh, the Niagara Falls unless Tesla. He forced Tesla to give up. He had a royalty of one dollar per horsepower for every horsepower you used in the world with his system. And he forced Tesla to give that up or they were not going to back the funding of Niagara Falls. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. It shows you the power of money or the power of eliminating the, the, anyway. Uh, Tesla was a true humanitarian. I can't go on that unless you see the Indians have an expression that you can't understand, understand a man's life until you walk in his moccasins. And that's what I'm talking was always running into financial problems and she had her electricity turned off and so I fixed the wiring so that she could have electricity. And the public utility company didn't like this and they came and fixed it again, turned off the power and I turned it back on again and this time they got so frustrated they took out all the wires and they come back <laughs> the next week and I've got all the wires back in again. So I think they finally gave up because they never, she never had a loss of power anymore. So, but it was just, uh, I don't know how I did it because I, I would have to do it hot. Uh, but I did it anyway. I remember it very clearly. And how old were you then? I was nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where do you think this kind of information or this knowledge or ability would come from? Why I, would you I was to... born with it. It was amazing. Uh, and what is even more amazing was that uh, apparently... I think this was the reason that Yogananda spent so much time with me. Why is an egg shaped the way an egg is shaped? The reason is because the egg, the egg always wants to be uh, with the heavy part of the egg down because that is the nature of gravity. In other words, gravity is greater at the base of the egg than it is at the top of the egg. So the egg always rests on the rounded side, it's heavier. Now, what do you do to make the egg turn upside down, to make it anti-gravitational? You spin it. Now we have the connection between spin and gravity, and this is a, a, the major part of all of the things that I'm doing and all the things that Tesla is doing, and I'd have to get into some technical details to make sense, but they used to make tops for children you spin the top and it turns upside down. And why don't people question what is doing this? this? It's physics. It's a law of God. I mean, it's wonderful. But the physics leads you to all these other things, the things that we're talking about, the Tesla technology. Oh, I'll give you a good example of this. I remember in grade school, uh, we had a class in geometry. And we went through the whole Pythagorean system. We went through all of these uh, uh, geometrical proofs. And the teacher said, you cannot trisect an angle. What do you mean you can't trisect an angle? So I went home and figured out how to trisect an angle. And the teacher said, well, that's impossible. You can't do that. I said, well, what's wrong? Here, I've obeyed all the rules. And here's, the, the, here's how it's done. And uh, she said, well, it's impossible. Why? Well, I, that was a big disconnect for me, like very often happens in schools. 
And later on, years later, I discovered that all I had done was use Newton's technique by going outside the third field. Now, that's a, 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 a trick, but Newton knew about it, so he had no problem. And, but the teacher didn't know that it was part of the big picture, the bigger picture. And so there's always a bigger picture and you just can't close your mind to the wonderful ramifications of all of these marvelous things like the coupling of spin and gravity. Uh, perhaps the most important discovery that I've made in this search has been the understanding of soliton wave mechanics. Now, a soliton is unique because it requires a canal. It requires some kind of a structure to keep the energy in a, in a, in a channel. Now, there's a, you can go further than that, and you can use the structure of things like water. Now, this is very important in Tesla technology, because Tesla calls this the ambient medium. And what he is not telling you is the ambient medium around the Earth is its ionosphere and the primary element that makes all of this possible is water vapor. And I don't want to go any further at this moment, but uh, believe me, water vapor has an incredible structure and there are several books that have been written about this nature of water. It's way beyond the simple triple point that we think is the end of the science of water. It's marvelous. And Tesla realized this because studying the study of lightning, the study of natural lightning, and the fact that there are two kinds of lightning. The lightning that'll kill you immediately was positive lightning because it's the nuclear force, and the negative lightning that may change your life and improve it greatly is negatively charged. So you have negative ions are healthy, positive ions are deadly. That's a, a, a reality. And there's nothing more powerful than a lightning bolt, because that could be either positive or negative. And only the positive kills. Well, you can be burned severely with the negative if it's intense enough. I mean, uh, it cooks you. There is a house down in New they call the rising sun Where many poor boy to destruction has gone And me 